Hello folks, so I want to hold myself accountable and actually start posting videos fairly regularly, like I said last time. Um, so here we go, I'm just going to make a quick video this week. I wanted to just sort of overview the general framework that I'm working in to make my game engine, and then uh, in future videos I can actually really start honing in on some of the details, uh, because I end up getting into the habit of uh, talking in generalities and then rambling about a whole bunch of different features, and then by the end of the video we know a lot about very little. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, like I said, uh, just sort of my overall architecture scheme. And I'm using uh, Qt, which is a GUI framework uh, for C++ applications. Um, Qt is pretty nice. It has a bunch of really neat features uh, straight out of the box. I'm not even going to start going into all of the features it has built into it. Um, but it has it's sort of like its own uh, mini language within C++. It has a lot of alternatives to the standard library containers. Uh, and I find most of them are uh, pretty performance friendly and pretty flexible, uh, especially uh, for use with other QT types. Um, I think the main win for QT is that it's built to be cross-platform out of the box, which is super valuable because one thing that I don't want to spend a lot of time doing is writing hardware-specific code to be able to support um, my games and whatever I build with this engine on a different platform. So that's super valuable. Um, I recommend anyone who wants to start building a project like this, or a really uh, pretty much any project in C++ at least to do some research into QT because it also has a lot of really neat packages for building front ends and just for streamlining that whole process and it might save you a lot of headache, uh, you know, why, why reinvent the wheel? Um, I'm using a couple different extensions right now, I'll probably build in more as I start adding features like physics into the engine. Um, but I'm actually using a package called Python Qt that um, I think is pretty powerful. It does a lot to reduce boilerplate code. Uh, the main idea is to be able to actually embed Python into your uh, Qt applications, uh, which will, and in my case, I want to allow users to script a lot of their uh, code for the game in Python itself. I just think it's a much uh, low, uh, higher level language with a lower barrier of entry. So I wanted that to be a feature, and I didn't really feel like digging too much into the Python API and dealing with some of the raw C++ plus, plus uh, rather raw C calls that I'd have to make to get that working. So Python Qt has been pretty helpful. I think the only real downside to it is that there's essentially no documentation online for it. I mean, there there is a website and there are some examples, but it's really not clear, uh, at least from a, a new user, how to use a lot of the speeches out of the box. So there were some blood, blood, sweat, and tears in um, getting that up and running, but if there is interest, I can maybe post a few videos and I go into some detail about the process of sort of wrapping Python objects and uh, having an interface that goes between Python and C++ for uh, getting, getting the script running. I thought it was a, a pretty interesting feature. Uh, to get up and running in there, it's just sort of not included how to actually go about doing that right now. Um, but sort of going back to Qt, Qt actually has a lot of stuff out of the box. Um, it has a JavaScript engine built into it. So JavaScript actually would have been the easier scripting language of choice to allow users to write their games in. But I like Python, and I uh, am apparently a little bit of a masochist, so I didn't mind sort of struggling to force those features in there. But down the line, it wouldn't be too hard to build in a JavaScript scripting engine uh, to this engine too. So uh, that would be something really nice to build in. Uh, I think it'd be pretty novel to have an engine that lets you script in multiple languages of your choice. Uh, I think you know, uh, a lot of people would rather not double their workload and have that capability. But like I said, I'm a little bit magical, so maybe that's something I'll add in down the line if uh, people start using this and uh, if it's something people want. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm using Qt C++. Um, I'm using their QOpenGL widget, which is just one of their built-in widgets for rendering 3D. Um, and I probably mentioned that in my last video. Uh, but it's been a great framework. Um, uh, C++ is a nice language. Uh, I like dealing with pointers and references and doing my own memory management. I think C++ gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of memory management that you might not get with languages uh, like Java 
Um, I think that, you know, at the end of the day, being able to give yourself lower level control is super important. That's one reason why I'm building my own game engine in the first place, because I think that um, a lot of the times when you're using a piece of software, it can get you to the 90% or the 95% solution that maybe you want that extra 5 to 10%. And it's really frustrating for me when I can't get that out of a uh, piece of software, especially if it's not open source. So uh, hopefully if this project keeps moving along, uh, one day I'll open source it and uh, it's going to have a really nice, uh, flexible, powerful capability. Uh, but I've rambled on. Uh, that's about five minutes and I don't want to make these videos super long. So next week maybe I'll talk in uh, some more detail about uh, just some of the in the Python scripting features that I've been building in and how I've been wrapping those things up. Who knows, maybe I'll talk about something completely different. I have no idea. I, I don't plan these. It's a good time. It's all, it's all um, improv. So, we have a good time. Anyway, thanks for listening, anyone who listened. Uh, maybe I'll talk a bit more about some of these shader effects I have in here next week. Who knows? But, I'll leave it at that. Until next time.